In this video tutorial, we will cover the use of templates in the QuickEd form of WebLDMS. Not every clinical trial network allows the use of templates, so please check with your network requirements before viewing this video. A template is set up by the lab data manager on your study in conjunction with a laboratory technologist. It is based off the laboratory processing chart and will contain all expected specimens collected at that visit. Further documentation on what template to select is available in your lab processing chart. Over to the left, if we use the drop-down template menu, we will see all of the FISTRA created templates available in WebLDMS. Since this menu is rather large, we will want to limit our view by using the filters just below the drop-down menu. You can first set the filter to your project, and then further by the protocol. Once those filters are in place, you see that the items available in the drop-down template menu are now limited to only that study for that project. Highlight the template that you wish to load. You will then see the confirmation message. It first asks if you'd like to load the template data and warns that this will clear any data that you have previously entered. So below that we see our template comments. Now these comments are coming directly from the laboratory technologist and pertain to this draw. You want to review them and be familiar with those instructions. Once you click yes, those template comments will then load into the gray box above so you can continue to review if you need to. Next, you will continue to fill out the quick add form, starting with our PID, study identifier, clinic, and collection date. Once I choose a date, I see that I'm asked to set all of the primaries received dates and processing dates to this collection date. If all of these dates are the same, I can click yes and they will automatically be set to the date I have selected. If no, I will be required to manually set those dates myself. In primary number one, we see additive TBD, and this means that the specimen type is to be defined. If we review our comments above, we can see what additives are acceptable for this specimen. I must enter my collection time. This is a 24 hour clock and you must enter the colon. and my receive time. If you have processing information available, you can access it by clicking the edit buttons next to the primary and the aliquots. A pop-up window will appear in which you can then add additional information. If you do not have any processing or frozen information at this time, save the record and please review our video on how to use the filters to find those specimens again and add that post-processing information. This record has enough information for me to add it into our system and you do that by clicking the add button in the bottom center. I have a success message, and each of my aliquots are enumerated in the list. The form has now reset, and I can add another set of specimens. Thank you for watching this video. Further information can be found on our LDMS website at www.ldms.org under the Resources tab. Please feel free to contact user support with any questions under the Contact Us tab 
on our website.